Hello then and welcome to the final round of the Master of Manufacturers Championship. Today we have 12 riders, so we've actually got good attendance for once again today. Uh, there's a potential of 13 today. Uh, I get there's one person that's not sure then we might see action from them, but we are missing Nelson, Sire and Aaron Jack. Apart from that we have got everyone here today, so it's looking good and I'm happy that we've got good attendance for the final round of the season, so it's been a long championship. I don't know why um Julito's going out or Legend is one of the two. They're going out by the pit entry, but and then Platt and Tatch on their flying laps now, both on the monster Yamaha. So we've got good attendance. Everyone that hasn't used double points is using double points, so I know likes of Finley, I think Touch maybe. Uh, Hilito, maybe Dodo, Jack. Uh, we're all using double points today, so on this final round. So hopefully they can do well. But there's a lot of people here today, so there's a bit of competition. I don't think there's anyone that's using the same bike. I'm going to check now. I'm not. Uh, I'm, if I'm looking through the list now, I don't think anyone's using the same bike twice, which is good. Maybe he's legendary. He might use Suzuki, but I don't think so. No, then. Flight will be will be completing the first lap within the next 10 to 15 seconds or 20. around the final corner and that looked pretty good he's on the board the monster Yamaha today so he goes across the line and he's a 25 nice so just right into the 25s I guess that's a solid time to get I'm not sure what he needs to be able to put out the bag but I guess we'll find out near enough Dodo does a, a 27.5 Matthias up next uh, something about Matthias as well which I guess it's a milestone to have among all the riders here in this championship out of the 18 that have raced. He is the only rider to race in every single round. So, I have to, oh, I hope this is on a red sector too, but Matthias comes to the line and you're left to second. So, I have to say, the one of the most impressive people that I've liked this season and I've, I guess I have most respect for is Matthias. And they're all going to start on their laps now. Uh, yeah, like I said, Matthias, he has to every round. He w finally won a race in Sepang. That's a really wide last corner for Legendary. But he's going to come to the line and he's going to jump up fourth. <coughs> so yeah, well done to Matthias. Obviously Platt essentially turned up to every race, but he, he turned up to every race. Platt has. Oh, Dodo's kind of in the way down touch. He turned up to every race. But he's not racing every race, Platt. Certain reasons that's why you can race in Sepang and El Turco, I guess he missed only one, and that's because he totally forgot. I'm not sure about everyone else. Helito's turned up to every race, I believe, since he joined. As oh my god, Dodo's won another track. Then. Flaps down. Here comes Craig then to the final corner. Here he comes into the line. And he goes into second, so good luck from him. Here comes Hulito. To the line and jump to second place, only a tenth off, so definitely potential for pole. And he's sliding in hot into turn one. He's definitely going to catch up to legendary, so 
Be careful, touch doesn't improve. El Turco. Going to six. Finley and Dodo. Finley jumps up into third place. See some of the guys, the league I race in. Mm. Still have a bit of experience around there. Still have a bit of a bit familiar as we only raced here about a week ago. So pre season test. The likes of Platt. Oh no, let's go from Platt, who leads to Finley, Craig, Legendary Touch, Howland, and Jack. Howland jumps up into six. Jack, is the next person on the lap, or is it Platt? No, it is Jack. No, it's not, it is Platt. <coughs> Here comes Platt then. How is it out of the final corner? Can he improve to uh, No, he can't. And Jackson Violet is left. <laughs> so next up is Dodo. He's missed the fast five rounds, which is slightly unfortunate reasons. But as I know, he is a very fast rider. Luke missing a few rounds has not helped him. Oh my God. <laughs> Legendary and touch are. They are the bottom two that have set laps, but they've got the exact same laps, so if any of them improve, they should uh, definitely jump up position. So, all, there's all different groups here. Dodo comes to line, he does improve. Here comes Solito. He's actually on a red set to two and three, but is Craig and Matias going to get in his way? Oh no! They got in his way there, I think, Matias and Craig. He's on a good lap, and they were just. Yeah. Well, I, don't, I believe they weren't on laps either, so they definitely could have moved out the way. <coughs> Fernie's on lap, and Platt is also improving further. So Cam Finney, he should be able to jump up into fourth place, you'd imagine. But going on three or in sets. The final corner could have been a little bit better, but it's not terrible. He's gonna come to the line now and he's gonna jump up into fourth place. So and here comes Platt then he's on a red set to three as well. But like I said, there's quite a distinctive group. So you've got ninth, eighth, no, to ninth, tenth, eleventh, so we're in a bit of a group. And then you've got essentially fourth to eighth, well within a second, pretty much. Here comes Platt then, and he does improve by another ten. Yeah, so it's third to eighth. There's like a group of six riders for the midfield. Well, I say for the midfield, it's for the final podium position, really. So third to eighth, all in a shot for the podium based off of lap time. Here comes Craig then. He's going to be looking to try and get back in front of Finley. Oh, he's at the curb. Should be okay. They touched improving as well. Her list has only going to get one more go at it as well, so... Here comes Craig, a little bit wide at the final corner again, but it should be fine. As he uses all the track he can. And he doesn't quite get back in front of Finley. Here comes Touch, and he needs a big lap here to jump in front of Legendary. And he does, he jumps in front of El Turco too, so I guess he Touch another three attempts and he's going to be a part of that podium battle as well. So. He's almost in it. If he can get in front of Matias, then he is definitely well inside of it. Here comes Legendary then. Can he jump up? Jack's not set a lap yet. I'd imagine Jack would be in that group as well, but he's not set a lap yet. Here comes Legendary then. That final corner wasn't too bad. And he is, he's going to come to the line now. And he jumped down to 7th, so he's going to be well inside that group as well. This could turn us to be really close. If Jack can set a lap and El Turco sets the lap, this well, last place to third is going to be separated by about 1.2 seconds. So, this is going to be, apart from playing anything, this midfield battle is going to be probably the closest in the season. And Jack's ran over the bumps, and that is Jack session over. Oh, how unfortunate. He hit the bumps in the track. Here comes Dodo then. He's on for it again. Unlucky for Jack. He will be starting last, but he's still got something in it, I guess. Here comes Dodo then. Can he jump up? Maybe even two possessions here. And he can jump up two positions, very close to three. 
Here comes Grigory. Can he extend his gap to Finley? That'd be good for him. And Platt improves even more. And again, now gets a point seven to game against his advantage to uh, Hulito. Four tenths. Here comes Grigory, and he does improve, and he makes it only eight tenths to Platt. So maybe the, the battle for the podium. Is really, he's about half a second to the rest of them. And the first lap is Finley on three grades, but the other person who's on a lap is El Turk, and he's on three orange sectors. Can he bridge the gap to, to touch to make this a really close battle? Everyone in this group is so close. Obviously, Grigri's kind of extended that gap. But can El Turco make something work here? Here he comes then to the line, and he doesn't improve. <coughs> That's the end of the qualifying session. The positions on the starting and grid are he jumps now confirmed. Up. And as we look at the so final then, results, Platt gets some pole then, and got a four tenth of Arto Lito, and then Hilito is in second. Wigby's in third for 26 6, only 0.8 off Platt, 0.4 off Hilito. So he's, these three are in good positions right now. They've all got a certain gap over the right behind. Finley gets fourth, I guess you're going best of the rest almost in this massive group behind, who is Craig in 5th, and then Matthias in 6th, Howling in 7th, Dota 8th, Lizendry 9th, El Turco 10th, Touch 10th, and Jack 12th. So, just before I confirm the results, Jack should definitely be in here as well, but 2.4 seconds off is Touch, and then 1.3 to Finley, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, there's essentially 9 riders within 9 tenths. So, what about we have on there? So let's get ready for race 1. So then, we have Platt on pole, but Helito in second and Grigu in third, anyone can get into this top three, they look how close they all are, here we go then, it's like time to wave, you're going, Helito's jumped the start, that is a nightmare start for him and he's not going to want that, and so here we go then, down into turn one, it's bumping all over the place and it's safe for some, not for others, and it's it's Grigor who's gone down, so the third place man on the grid has gone down, which kind of leaves the podium wide open to all the riders behind us. You know how close it was in qualifying. Howland has got himself a long lap too, so he's obviously done something. <coughs> oh no, Finley's gone down. It's so unfortunate, but Jack, who started in last place, is already up to fourth, so that's good for him. Touch has also gone down. Oh, Matthias has cut the corner a little bit. He's already on two track limit warnings. <coughs> Here we go then. As we now head down into turn eight, it's going to be Jack trying to go round the outside of Dodo. Oh, Dodo makes contact and Jack has to sit up and he's going to allow Craig to go for as well. But Howland's going to try and slip up the inside of Jack as well. And Howland slips up the inside. Is he going to take the long lap penalty? No, he's not. Oh no, and Craig's gone down. He's made contact with another rider. Don't know who it was. So then. These guys might be in safe positions. Julito has still got to run around the long lap twice, so they're all still in the battle for second place, because Julito, unless he can make that gap to about three seconds, he's got nothing secure. Julito, he's gonna try and probably try and catch up to Platt before he takes the long lap, but who knows? Oh, that was Dodo, yeah, swerve in front of Jack, but Jack's gonna get the position anyway. <laughs> Howling, who's in fourth, has got a long lap. I don't know how. Ooh, and Dodo's off the track. Ooh, boy. And no, Julito's gone down. I, I didn't even notice. Julito has gone down, and he's got to love, so he's pushing way too much. No, Matias has got the right to second place curse, as long as you're not in second place. Two people have just crashed out of there, so how is one under pressure now? With a long lap, so. All these guys at the front, it's still very close. If you look on the mini map, Look how close it is between all these riders. They're all in a certain group. And they can all catch right back up. Here we go then. Dodo's closing on the brakes to Legendary. And then he slips up his inside. Legendary runs wide, but I guess this one. Finley's gone down again. Remember, it's a reverse grid. So whoever comes near the bottom will start at the top. Pulito has made his way back through. He's just got to get through two more riders to be back where he was, but he's still got to take these long laps. So Lito, he perfects that last corner compared to everyone else. Finley's gone down again. 
Come up with either that. So unfortunate for him. But as you start lap three already. Right on board with Jack, as you look behind him. Started from the back of the grid and he's into a podium position as of now. And Howling, he's in second place, but will he take his long lap? If he wants to be on the podium, he's going to try and have to take it. If he doesn't take it, then he's not going to finish on the podium today in race one. Same with Luto, unless he can create a big enough gap. We know he's got the pace, but taking his long laps could be crucial. Oh no, Jack's running wide, that's going to be through, surely. And it is. And Jack's dropped out of pole positions, but the two riders in front of him both do have long lap penalties. As Julito's going to go for the first one. Oh, is he f oh it's going to be close to who's done it, and he has done it. He's done his first one, it's very close to invalidating, but he has done it. Finley's gone down again. <laughs> he can maybe still get another position if people crash. Craig's gone down and Grigory's gone down as well. I think Craig crashed and there's been a chain reaction there. Ooh. Well, yeah, touch has gone down as well. So it's going to help Finley out a little bit. Ooh, someone's off at turn one. I think that's Howlin. Howlin is on four track limit warnings. No, Jack's gone down at turn two. He's gonna drop out of the positions. He's having a good ride and he's just dropped it. So easy to do. Too much going on right now. The closest gap is Dola to Hulito, but Hulito's obviously got a bit of a gap. I reckon Hulito will take his second long lap on the next lap. Because by then he should have a big enough gap to Dodo. He can take it and then he can try and regroup into second place. I don't know if Hulito is aware, but Howland does have his long lap as well, and potentially too if he gets another warning. So Hulito's currently in a pretty good spot. As Howling gets a three second penalty, Howling will not be taking the long lap penalty. And it's going to look like. Well, at the moment he's setting fourth technically. But if he can pull another half a second on Dodo, it can still be third place. As far as I have noticed, Howling is actually gapping Hulito, or keeping the same gap. For the last two sets, it stayed at 1.3 seconds. So, unless Howling's found mega pace, I don't know what's happened, but he is keeping a really firm gap. Dropped down to a second now, maybe a mistake to be made, but he's really matching Hulita almost, to be honest. Oh, Hulita's out wide! He cuts it back. Now his hitter's going to take as long as he's got to, surely got to. He doesn't. Maybe next time. I'm not sure how many more laps he's got to do it. Maybe the laps next that might be his last lap. Jack's very close to legendary now. All over those lines, but that wasn't amazing. Gonna help Jack catch up. As Howland's got another long lap. Hulita's actually made his way through. No legendary's wide. As Jack, he pulls into the slip screen. And here he goes then. He's going to try and go round the outside. He outbreaks him. He's, ooh, let's know he's running right into the back of him. But Jack's going to be forced off the track. And, uh, ooh. I think that position has been secured. So with Howden getting another long up, he's surely got to take this one. If he doesn't, then he's going to... 
travel back to about sixth place behind of Jack and Legendary. So, if he, and if he does take the long run, he'll probably be in about fourth or fifth. So, probably be better off taking it. Goofy Rider behind, Gwee starting to catch up after his crash with Matthias as well, Matthias crash as well. They're going to try and catch up to Old Turco. <coughs> Any of them. We'll look at Platt now, we've not looked for him much in this championship out front. Because his lead's so big, he's got an 11 second lead to hold him with two long laps. So... Unfortunate for him. Hulito still got his long lap still as well as howling right. I think he might get a three second penalty here. Which he does. But that won't affect him too much. No El Turco's gone down, so that's gonna grant them positions now. So Hulito, they both have three second penalties, these two. But Howland has an extra long lap, so it's probably six seconds for Howland. So, Hiduto is currently in second place, really. And Howland just about in third. Dodo is very close, though. And with two, if they start to battle, then it's really going to secure Dodo third place. So, Howland can't afford to battle. He needs to kind of keep the position. And Hiduto is very wide, and that is, yeah, it's never going to work. Remember uh, Hulito and I think Howling as well, I don't think he's using double points. These two are both using double points today. So I guess position matters. Smart though, with his 10 second lead. Ooh, Hulito, you can't make a move there. Neither can you there, that's... <laughs> there's no way that's ever going to work, is it? You might be able to break into the final corner. His line is perfect through there. And you're going to get the run onto the straight on the Suzuki compared to the Honda, and it's howling just faster. Battle for the wooden spoon in last place, then. Craig's gone down as well, so it's really unfortunate for him. Now you're going to bring them into this battle with these two now, and it's going to be a battle with Smith. Rear. No, Finney's gone down! So unfortunate for it, and then touch is. Okay. And that's going to grant touch the long lap penalty. Hulito's. <laughs> oh no, Howland's off the track! Howland's ran off! But he's actually stayed on. He's. Oh, he was off the front then. But that is going to slow him down massively and it's going to give Hulita the position and it's going to, well, that's going to be down to fifth place for Howland now. He's got to take his long lap. I don't think he can take it now. Cray's gone down again. What has happened to him? Legendary's gone down as well. Finley is massively out wide. Guigui's in the battle with Matthias now as well. He's going to try and get the run on him, but he just can't find it. <coughs> so 
So Howling has got a six second penalty now and that will mean Dodo will be on the podium. And it, oh, it's a move! Anyway then, flat wins. Got to try and watch this, because it's a real big battle here. Can Matthias retaliate? I don't... Oh no! Grigri's Gris gone down! I do not believe it, he's gone down. Who's that finishes in second? Howland will be in fifth after these double long lap. Dodo will... No, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Uh, Jack will get fourth in the end. Dodo gets on the podium. Matthias in sixth. Legendary should get seven. Which he does. Uh, Grigri eighth after the crash. Dodo in ninth and these three will be at the back. While the riders enjoy a well-deserved lap of So honor. then, Let's flat wins. The race one by a one. very comfortable margin. So Julito in second. Dodo gets third in the end. He gets another podium on his return. So that's very good for him. So that gets fourth after a crash earlier on in the race. Howen gets fifth after a double long lap penalty. Matthias gets sixth. Legendary seventh. Grigri in eighth. Howling in... Uh, no, Howling. El Turco in ninth. Craig in 10th, Finney in 11th, and Touch in 12th. Touch will be on pole. There's one monster the Empire on pole in the first race, and there's another one in this race with Finney in 2nd and Craig in 3rd. Oh no, Tuffing touched a jump start. I do not believe it. And he has jumped the start accidentally. I do not believe it. And he's going to drop down the order with two long lap penalties. I was going to head down into turn one. It's going to be Craig who leads. Going through turn one. Oh my, something's been absolutely pelted. And it's an absolute mess into turn one, turn two. So Matt El Turco's got a long lap. Oh uh, no! Legendary's high sided! Oh my god, that's massive! <laughs> Don't know what's happened there. But Howling leads the way. And Touch is actually going to have four long laps because he's got two long laps to give out on penalties. So that is really unfortunate for him. But Helita's going to set up the inside of Howling. And he makes it stick. Oh no, someone's gone ploughing on into the gravel trap. Oh no, Howland's gone down and no, Hulita's gone down. And mass oh my god, that was like, oh my god. <laughs> that was a suicidal move there. Anyway, Platt's made his way back up to second place. And if you guys didn't know, there's been a bit of beef recently between Platt and Craig. And seeing these guys in P1 and P2 makes me a bit on edge. Right, I need to give long lap penalties. I need to give two to touch. So, sorry, touch. I need to give two to touch. I need to give one to Finley. Where's all Finley's in the podium? Come on. Uh, long lap penalty to Lito, and that's it. Two. That's taking the lead then. I've only just noticed that because I was giving out penalties. Hopefully there's no it didn't look there's any force move. But Craig's gonna fight with all his power back. We has gone down as well. So Touch currently sits on four long lap penalties, which isn't the best way. I do feel bad for Finley. He's in third place right now, but he's got a long lap penalty. Although he does have 1.3 seconds back to his brother Jack, so he could risk to take it, but Oh, I don't think he will. If I was him, then I probably would. But if I was him, I probably wouldn't. Or if not, if, if I, I just think he would. Howland's gone down again too, and he's not going to take. I didn't think so. <laughs> that does not surprise me. Dodo's on it, trying to find his way past Jack now, and Matthias is lurking in the background. Touch is having an absolute nightmare. If I was sat in last place with four long laps, I'd, this is, I'd just be dreading the rest of this race, to be honest. The only way is up, but for touch and touch, the only way is backwards. <laughs> Does not look good. So these guys now starting lap three, whilst Platt is going into turn two. 
Jack. Oh, no, that's not Jack. Sorry, that's Finley. Finley's quite up to the back of Craig. And maybe we can see. These guys were battling for 10th and 11th last race. But we're now battling for 2nd and 3rd. So, big change of events here for these two riders. Well, there's contact further back. Oh, my God. This is my Oh, my. Touch has gone down. Oh, here comes Alito. He's still got two long laps as well. Guigui's got one and El Turco's got one. So, here comes Alito. He's going to start up the internal Guigui and it's nicely done. No contact made. And he's good. And Touch has gone down again. Oh, I just, yeah. <laughs> Last place, 15. Oh, he's gone down again. <laughs> Alito's taken a long lap. And that looks clean to me, which is time. If I was touching last place by 20 seconds with four long laps, I shouldn't be laughing to him down again. I would be not feeling good. Because it just isn't good. Anyway then. <coughs> Well, there's a move by Guigui, and it's going to force Legendary out wide. Oh, Turco's on track as well. Oh, my God, Touch. <laughs> I, need, I, I don't know what's going on with Touch. I, I think his mind is just broken. Yeah. Anyway, then. Oh look, well, El Turco's gone down. Oh, Finley's trying to take his long lap. Has he done it well? I don't know, I've not seen him. No, Finley failed his long lap. I didn't see it, but he's failed it. Oh, what a shame. He's run onto the curb and it. Oh, no. <laughs> I feel so bad. He's having such a good race. I mean, it's not over yet, obviously, but. Oh, I can't believe it. You know, drop out the podium positions, and is that his long lap chance gone? No, you can still do it again. Whether he does do it again. Run off the track now as well. Oh, devastation! If you'd have done that well, then well. All right then, my main focus on Jack and Craig now. See if Jack can catch up. Is second place on the cards for him? Finley's attempting it again. And this time he's got it right. So, he comes out in sixth position having done his long lap. Hillis is behind him with a 1.6 second gap. Hillis has also got another long lap. So, I don't know why he's not taking it, but I think he should take it before he gets to Finley. Would be my advice. Here comes Jack then. Can Jack put a move past Craig cleanly? Will it end in shambles? Ooh, Craig's on the track. Well, I think he did anyway. I didn't quite see it. Jack gets the better line through there. Howland's got himself a long lap as well. And Jack, he is edging closer to Craig. Every corner, every straight, every bit of track he's making use of. And he is gaining. <coughs> And that gap from what is two tenths now is shrinking every single second.
He's gain. Ooh, that set up a little bit then. Something must have happened. <laughs> so Finley's sat in sick, having taken his long lap now. Oh no, Dodo's lost the front. He's gone down. And um, Finley's run off the track as well a little bit. I think he might have bit made a bit of a mistake, and Julito is right on him now. And that's not really what you want to know, because Helito does like a dive button. I'd imagine he's probably going to go for it this final corner, which he is. And he sends up the inside, and he's got it stuck. But with Ducati power, maybe Finley can actually bounce back. Which I think he might be able to. He does. He's going to step And he's so much faster than a straight line. He, oh, he's in front of him again. He outbreaks Julito. And he's going to run off at turn one. Can he get the position back? No, Julito. How? How? I had to. I, what, oh, my. I don't know what I've just seen. That is so unfortunate. What have I just... Oh my god. <laughs> what have I just seen? <laughs> so, unless we come down again. Julita was just. had the weirdest crashing God's Earth on the curb. He rejoins the track and smacks Legendary off. Oh my god. I just, oh, I, can't, I just, I can't. Wow. No, then Jack, he's closed on Craig still and Jack is using double points as he's not used it yet, so He's obviously going to be charging off to second place. It's going to mean quite a bit to him. <coughs> Same with Finley. He's probably going to try and close up on the TS. They're both running off at turn one. I've seen him do it a couple of times, especially Craig. So if I see him one of them do it again, I might give him a track limit warning. As they are doing it a bit excessively now. Let's contact further back with these two factory Ducatis. No, Jack's gone down! I do not believe it. Oh, no, Matthias hit his bike. And they fit it. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay. It's just so unfortunate. It's just a, just a chain reaction. Jack crashes. Matthias hits his bike. Jack gets back on his bike. And then Finley hits Matthias' his bike. And they were and they were both going to gain the position from that. And they've now dropped to 7 and 8. Plag once again has got his absolute whopper of a lead. I mean, he's he's whopping the field. I could give him four long laps right now, and he'd still win the race. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Dodo's gone down as well. I should just give Platt a long lap and he'd still win. <laughs> That'd be funny. No, but he is almost cruising his way to victory now. And Craig's almost cruising himself to second place because of Jack's crash. And he's now under pressure from Greedy Jack, so he's going to have um, to fight for this podium a little bit now after losing ground. Not too much going on right now, but Legendary's gone down again. He's having a nightmare now. 
but I can see Finley trying to gap into Howling and Greek trying to do the same to Jack. So there's two riders under pressure. Obviously Howling does have a long lap and Finley doesn't, so Finley's should get a position if he stays on the bike. Oh no, I've just noticed something. Jack is under even more pressure now. Howling's got a three second penalty. Jack is holding off well, but he's got one of four laps. It's going to be difficult. I'm not quite sure what's going on to Hulito because he's got a three second penalty, or maybe even six second penalty, with an additional two long laps as it is now with two warnings. So. Oh no, Finley and Dodo have had identical crashes, but not with each other. Ooh, Jack's out very wide, and that's Rigui's position. And Jack's got four. Warnings and Grigri is the only rider without one, so there's no chance of Grigri getting a long lap, really. And Jack might still get one, so kind of spread out the field again now. If Jack gets another warning, though, Howling can still get a position for Jack for fourth place, maybe. Howling's on three warnings, so he's very close to getting another one. No, Crow's gone down! No, don't worry, we've got another bit of a race on our hand now, because... That... He gets underway again, and he's down to fourth. He's lost a lot of time. So now there's a fight for the podium. For third place, or maybe even the second place, but Grigri, we know, has got the pace over these two, so... We, we might be right, but Jack and Craig are now in a podium fight, as well as Howling, if he miraculously gets in front of these guys and pulls three seconds. <coughs> oh, wait, who's that? That's Grigri. He's run off the track. He's made a mistake, and it's wedging slightly closer. There's four bikes almost in the picture here. There's a certain three, that's for sure. <laughs> so then, Rigri starts lap 12, lap 24 seconds up the road. Dodo's crashed again. And Jack is very close to him along that thing with flat but it just really does not matter at this point. I do have a strong feeling though that Jack and Craig are gonna start to have a bit of a battle it. Same with Greek, I reckon if Jack can close up I think the the moment Jack tries to move, that's when it's gonna start to get a bit more engaged. I think that's when he's going to get stuck in, but if you can't make an overtake, then nothing's going to happen. But he needs to try it somewhere. It's to get his lines right for the next lap or so, and try and gain a bit of an advantage. Finley's on the back of Matthias now, maybe sixth place for Finley. Matthias being on four warnings, Finley only on three, so. To force Matthias into a mistake, he might have the position due to a long lap, but Finley looks faster, he actually shoves his way up the inside of Matthias. But Matthias keeps position. And it's actually Howland who's really closed up to these guys. Craig's actually fell off and so oh no, Phil has gone down and there's been contact at the final corner, so that does not look good. Jack's caught oh my life. Alright, well. 
duck his one one away for a long. He is really pushing his luck at this point. He is so close to a warning. I feel like he lost time though when he went off track. But if he does do it again, the Mafia lose time or what? I think I'm gonna have to give him a, give him a warning, which will give him his long lap. Which I'm sorry, but he is went off track quite a lot now. Same with Craig. I did see him he did him doing it as well, but Craig's only on two warnings. So it wouldn't matter as much. But Jack, he is, oh, he's so close to glue. He is so close. Oh, he leads his maidens through on Matthias. Matthias is actually off the trap. Oh, my. Oh, my. Howland's gone down, so that's going to be his race run for any chance at the podium. And that is ultimately going to... Um... Oh! And there's... Oh, he's high side. Did he? I think he'll leave his balls him off the track. Jack can't quite gain ground on Grigri, sadly. He was there. I think that's it. I think Craig's lost his shot on the podium as well, to be honest. Jack just seems to be faster. Off the track again. Craig is. Who leads when Howden very close, but I think who leads him might have another long lap more. Oh no, he's that wide. I'm gonna cut it back, but I think who leads who will lose position. He's so close. Platt's gone down! <laughs> and actually, that, who's that? Is that El Turco? <laughs> he wants to go round with him. We'll watch Platt though. For the final time, this contact between Holito and Howling. I'm not sure what's happened there, but. Here comes Platt. He cruises round the final corner. And he goes slow, and it's for the final time this season. Platt, he wins both races once again. He does a wheelie and he wheels across the line with El Turco. What a great moment to see, but Platt wins. El Turco. Oh no, Jack made a move on Quig at the final corner. Who's going to get the run? Jack's got the run. Onto the straight. Who's really faster? It's going to be Jack to the line. And Jack has beaten him. I've not seen what's happened there. But Jack has beaten Quig to the line and Quig was in third. Craig gets fourth in the end. Howling is fifth. Hulito get Oh uh, who it finished me because because Hulito's run out of fuel! <laughs> he's no uh, wait, is he? Wait, I'm so oh he's doing burnouts. <laughs> no <laughs> Oh my god. I just I'm so do their cool down laps. Let's take Any then, the Platt wins by 14 seconds. Was 20 see. something. Yeah. He crashed and they did some wheelies to end it off nicely. Jack gets second place in the end. I'm not sure what happened. I wasn't watching, but there's some form of move at the final corner, I think. So he, he somehow pulled that off. I mean, I, I didn't it really expect the coming start in the last lap. He's about point nine off. Grigri only gets third. He'll be happy with a podium, but losing that second place in the final lap. Craig gets fourth. Finley gets fifth. Matthias sixth. Howling seventh. Who little wait. Dodo 9th, Legendary 10th, and then El Turco in 11th. So then, these 12 rounds have been the Marta Manufacturers Championship. All 12 rounds have now finished. We have a champion of Platt. So, congratulations to him. And obviously, Matias to turn that to every single round, and he will finish second. So, one to him. And I think Craig gets third. So, well done to Craig as well for the top three. Anyway, then, that has been the championship. And that'll be one less championship for me to worry about now. One less upload a week. Hopefully I can try and put something else in its place. But if you have enjoyed these rounds, then hopefully I can come up with something else soon. I mean, these rounds have been good fun, in a way, for some people. Not for others, sadly. But it has been good fun for the majority, hopefully. But I don't know when my next event will be. Probably not anytime soon. Not anything major. Maybe one-off things that I might put up, but... If there's anything you want to see, just let me know. But yeah, that has been it. And we will see you next time, maybe for something else interesting. Like we had the World Cup before. Now we've had this. So, there we go. See you next time. See ya.